So I'm John Wells and I'm the Head of Design Styling at Morgan. 15 years ago to this day, Morgan launched the Aero 8. Um, this was a car that repositioned the brand. Um, it had an all new aluminium chassis, aluminium bodywork, V8 engine, and it really separated Morgan um, away from the classic Morgan and put us into a new marketplace. And 15 years on, the Aero brand has witnessed a lot of changes and a lot of evolution. Um, we've improved the chassis and suspension, the vehicle's capabilities and performance. We've introduced two coupes and a Targa top on top of this platform, and we've no longer created a soft top open car. So 15 years on, it was the anniversary of this era wait, and we wanted to look back to our roots and reintroduce a proper British open top car within the aero platform. So we approach this project with quite a holistic view of the whole design. We take all the best bits of aeros throughout the years and we try to create a car that is the most complete and resolved of all the aero products. So we looked at the chassis. This has got an all new chassis underneath. We've drastically improved the torsional stiffness. We've moved the cantilever suspension, which was inboard to the outside with your wishbone suspension, which enabled us to combat some of the body roll and create a much more stable car, not only at low speeds, but a lot flatter in the corners too. We've got new anti-roll bars. We have a new limited slip differential on the back of the car too. One of the big focuses of this car for me was really emphasizing the fact this is an open top British sports car. So the styling itself in the body is meant to really exaggerate that. We have some very long shoulder lines which run through the car, which is inspired by a lot of sort of 1960s open top cars that really did focus on that driver interaction with its environment. So these long shoulder lines flow around the occupants. They're almost echoing that of a boat deck, adding to that sense of escapism as well. Um, the interior itself has been drastically reworked. What I've tried to do is take away a lot of the leather which is in the car originally. We've always used very fine natural leathers and the cars were bathed in them. But by taking some of this leather out and replacing it with other materials like classic box weave carpet, we're actually able to really celebrate the individual materials and the leathers. So you have fine leather at every point of contact and then it's framed with this very classic carpet. We've also looked at a lot more wood finishes. Morgan obviously work with wood, we do this very well. And bringing that into the car in a very aesthetic way as well as a functional way was important for me. In terms of the interaction, we've looked at different dashboard variants. I think it's important to add at this point, this has got the most elaborate options list of any Morgan we've ever created. So the dashboard, for example, could either have a very tactile mechanical interface, or you can have a multi-touch screen system, which gives you all those modern conveniences. Inside the car, you've also got carbon seats or the traditional sort of foam leather seats. Again, completely transforming the way this car looks. The same is to be said of the hardtop on this vehicle as well. What we didn't want to do is consider things like hardtops as an afterthought. And we try to provide as many different possible variations of this car in one go. So we've considered the styling of the hardtop right from the offset too. The way we're selling this car is very much not as a limited run of maybe 300 vehicles, but 300 one-off cars. Every one will be so different with that extensive options list and the different coupe variants or open top variants that we anticipate quite an exciting, eclectic mix of cars. For me, every Morgan has a lot of inherent drama, especially within the arrows, whether it's the noise or the length of some of these elaborate lines, the way they drive, that view down the bonnet. And what I wanted to do is bring a lot of drama back into the car with a very dramatic opening panel. But it's quite multifunctional, that rear hood clamshell um, actually conceals the fuel filler and it seals around the hood line which eliminates unnecessary shut lines so there's only the very barest minimum shut lines on the actual vehicle. As this boot opens up towards the rear and closes again it actually tensions the soft top which is neatly stowed away underneath. This is the first Morgan ever to have a hood that is stowed away out of sight in, um, in production which is um, quite a big one for us. <laughs> so this car uses the BMW V8 that we've used previously in our Aero products. It's a fantastic engine. We work really closely with BMW on the development and setup of this engine and we, we really love the way it drives and performs. So the output is around about 370 brake horsepower with similar sort of performance figures to the previous Aero in terms of torque delivery and top speed and acceleration. However, it's important to add that we've really looked at the aerodynamics of this vehicle, which does improve that on-road stability. When you combine this with the improved chassis, which is now stiffer, and the dual wishbone suspension on the outside and more refined road holding, I think it will give a sensation of much more exhilaration, especially when that roof's down and you can hear the exhaust and you're much more in contact with your surroundings. I think it would be fair to say, without getting ahead of ourselves, we enter production in autumn. 
this is probably the sharpest, fastest handling aero we've built to date.